good afternoon everyone i am very delighted and happy to be in the midst of all of you here on this occasion of the first convocation of bharatiya skill development university chairperson bsdu mrs ursula joshi ji president bsdu professor achintya choudhary chief functionary aryu jct mr jayant joshi members of the board of management members of the academic council dr sangeeta novel registrar faculty members all the technicians who have been associated with this university from inception and dear students and their parents it's indeed a festive occasion a happy occasion the first convocation of bharatiya skill development university is happening today on this very auspicious occasion my congratulations to all the students who are receiving their diploma in vocation bachelor of vocation master of vocation phd in vocational degrees from this first ever created private bharatiya skill development university i know the genesis we pay our homage to the memory of dr rajendra joshi whom i met for a very short while in one of those meetings i found the passion with which he has started this university putting in all the money that he has earned from switzerland and bringing it to india for the development of skills in our country the roots being from rajasthan he decided to do it in jaipur and i'm sure all the students who have taken benefit of this particular university in terms of skilling themselves providing them the world class facilities in terms of not only education but the practical hands on learning which will go a long way in not only employability of all of you dear students who are graduating today but some of you will turn out to be entrepreneurs in the same line as dr rajendra joshi and will create more universities more centers for skilling of our youth in our country on this occasion i look forward to the system that was imported from swiss system of what we call dual system some part of the theory being done in a college environment or a university or classroom and then the remaining part of hands on being undertaken in the real life industry has been taken to the next conclusion with huge infrastructure facilities being created here in jaipur i am sure many universities who have started around the same time and much later all will take a cue from out of this exercise the experience that this university has been able to learn and take to the next level of not only skilling a lot of research and development a lot of entrepreneurship abilities being developed in terms of creating incubators on the campus whereby students get an opportunity to become you know businessmen or creating their own startups this is what the nation is looking for today we are at a crossroads we have just completed the cycle of pandemic unfortunately this has come about 100 years later dr rajendra joshi was also unfortunately not here because of the same reason we need to rededicate ourselves that it is not only skills in terms of manufacturing but also in terms of medical industry he was in himself from a pharma background so how we can create new drugs how drug delivery systems can be created which will help our people patients from remote areas like rural areas tribal areas i think that is another area which needs to be addressed in terms of skilling our skill sets in terms of art craft design maybe music dance drama is also equally important it is not just manufacturing skills or assembly skills or what we call the marketing skills which are also equally important but all variety of skills and our nation is known for ab jab sab jante hain 64 kalaon ke bare mein hum baat karte hain there are 64 skill sets and how each one of them can be imparted in a university system of this nature with lot of vertical mobility horizontal mobility someone who has gone to an engineering or arts college 
uh, does not fit there and wants to do something on the skilling side must be able to join any time or someone who is doing here skill part of it vocational part of it wants to go and earn a BA in economics that flexibility is also required and fortunately the new national education policy empowers by way of providing all of this in a package deal where multiple entry multiple exit is possible a student whatever he wants to learn or she wants to learn the choice is that of the student and how we can provide this education at a very affordable cost and that's why while we talk about access equity we also talk about affordability we talk about accountability we talk about accreditation of our programs so the new national education policy with all its phenomena is going to really enrich our education system and will be best amongst all the countries of the world. We look forward to that day where every student who is entering into the higher education sector, forget about that, even in the school sector from the high school onwards, will have ample opportunities to get themselves skilled and become employable. And most important part is this particular skilling right from school time will entertain the families in terms of what is required to be done in the future, but we will also learn the lessons of dignity of labor. And, and therefore, a country of our size of 1.4 billion uh, with very few skilled manpower who are available today to take it to a new level, uh, whereby more than 60 to 70 percent students will all get skilled, will create high quality products, high quality processes, and the nation will get benefited in the process. Our economy will grow. Large number of jobs will get created. And the whole world will look forward for India as the destination for manufacturing or any other services for that matter. With these few words, I once again congratulate all the graduating students, the hard work that the teachers and faculty of this institution have put in, the parents who have sent you for getting this high quality education, my pranams, namaskar, greetings to all of you, and my best wishes for all of you to accept. Jai Hind, Namaskar.